They're live doing a Lego unboxing. Now, this is just for the auctions. This is really a build up hype for the auctions. And this is the only way I'll actually film the what I actually get in the mail. Otherwise, I'll just, I just like to rip it open really fast and just kind of set it up. As you guys can see, it's really getting crazy in here already. We're already having to move stuff to the ground because of uh, basically how much stuff's coming in. I'm about to go over there and grab some base place. So let's go ahead and open up. I have six packages. Uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. So I'm not too sure everything that's even in these. I mean, I know everything like that's in the packages, but I'm not sure which packages arrived since I have about 20 packages that I'm waiting on currently. So let me find my scissors or at least something that can slice something open. You know, I, I just got back from the gym. I just got back from the gym right now, so, and I had a whole bunch of mail sitting for me at home, so I just figured, let's go ahead and open this stuff up here. So this is all going to be for the auction. I'm just going to start off with this big freaking brown box right here. This one is the heaviest. It's like 20 pounds or something. Huh? I don't know. So here we go. We'll slide open this one. Sorry if you can't see right now. I'll, I'll fix that in a second. I'm going to put this other box down here. So yeah, this will be, we're opening this one right now. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so this one's going to be nice and simple, but I'm going to tell you, it's insane. So this cost me about 100 bucks here. I think 150 shipped. And it is this set right here, guys. It is really cool. This is the Ewok Village. So, wow, 150 bucks. I got the Ewok Village. I'm not done yet from this package, though. So not only did I get the Ewok Village for 100, oh boy, well, that took a tumble. So apologies. You know, sometimes the stand isn't the most reliable, as you guys can just tell right there. So I accidentally hit it there. So um, not only did I get the Ewok Village, but I also got some other goodies in here as well. I got Dogma. Uh, Chlorine Customs right here. So I got Dogma. Um, I got Commander. No, no, not Cody. I got Boyle. And then I had one more. I thought it was Cody because I... Oh, no, no, no. It's not Cody. It's a, a pilot here. So it's Warthog the pilot. So that's cool. Got those three dudes right there. So that is package number one. Ewok Village. 100% complete. And three CAC. So not a bad way to start it off here. We have five more packages to go. And I'd say the best is yet to come for sure. So there's actually a lot of sets in here today. So that's a all use complete set. So there we go. Ewok Village and three CAC. Uh, let's move on. So this next one. So that one was from some dude on Instagram. This one looks like it's from, it's from New York. So I'm gonna have to assume this is from eBay or something. I'm not too sure. Let me see. Oh yeah, this was a steal. This, this, this was this was such a steal. Like, oh my goodness, guys. This whole thing cost me about 50 bucks. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what was in here. So this cost me around $50. I really suggest watching buying and selling, if you heard that. I really suggest watching buying and selling for public bricks. I can really teach you guys how to do this yourselves. It's not rocket science. But anyways, I got this for $50 and I can really point out three figures right here that are gonna like equate my value. Look at these two right here. Look at that. That's already $30 right here. Maybe even more if some people go bananas in the auction. So those two, I had tons of clones. So this person I could tell was not the smartest person person because of what the price they listed it at and everything was mixed match i mean look at this right here fifty dollars and it's already over it's already over look at this right here two wolf pack i mean these five figures right here are worth more than fifty dollars so right there we also got the expensive plo coon from that set and just a whole bunch of other stuff i'm gonna have to sit here and sort through like like rare figures that people don't really know about like electro like he's like 10 bucks and you can find this stuff all the time so I really recommend watching Buying and Selling Through Public Bricks as a horn company. I don't want to spend too much time on it, to be quite honest with you right here, because I have so much to do. But lots of many figures are mix-matched here. Like this Stas Ali, as soon as I figure out, this person put like a mega block freaking head or freaking helmet on her. As soon as I figure out how to get that off, I put, you know, this back on her. That's a $15 figure. Got Commander Gree. So for $50, I already got my money it's uh, all legit right there plus i have a whole bunch of accessories and whatnot so there we go that one is what i call steel city right there let's go ahead and move on so cool that package is good let's go ahead and open this priority mail box next here now, i'm gonna save the one that i know about for the end uh, it's a whole bunch of custom figures i have so many more clarmy customs and stuff coming in the mail so this one i don't want to show the address my address to be honest with you this is from Rhode Island. I don't. I don't think this is an Instagram. I'm 
I'm not entirely sure though. I don't even, okay, yeah, this, uh, let's just make sure this is real before I lose my mind. Yeah, it's real, it's just dirty. Uh, this is the 2013 Republic gunship, so I think you guys can take my word for it that it's a 2013 Republic gunship, so that's also going to be for the auction. Let's just go ahead and take this and put it down on the ground here. I really don't want to take that out of the box right now because that's just going to be a disaster on itself once we go ahead and open that, so we'll we'll do that off camera there, and you guys can just see it all nice and set up for the auction and act like it just came like that. Okay, next package. Let's open this one. This is from North Dakota. You know, I didn't know I didn't know people lived in North Dakota. I thought only deers lived in lived in North Dakota, but apparently people exist too. So um, let's go ahead and see what we got here from North Dakota. I know this is from Instagram. I know who sent this one. So don't get triggered if you're watching from North Dakota. This is a, it's a joke, but you know, Cali boy like me doesn't understand your lifestyle. You guys are all about the farm life and stuff like that. Have you guys ever heard of a beach? I'm not too sure. Do you guys know what a beach is? Do you guys know what warm weather is? So, I'm not too sure. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look here. What's in this package? Um, it's a whole bunch of stuff in here. So, and by a whole bunch of stuff, you're like, yeah, it's a whole bunch of bubble wrap and whatnot. And that is very true. So, all right. It looks like he, like, bubble wrapped everything. I'm just going to take everything out real quick. So I will not spoil anything just yet. I just want to make sure everything is here. It seems like some pieces kind of went everywhere. So sorry, you guys are just seeing a tilted camera in a box right now. So I apologize for that. We also got a sealed set, so that's pretty cool. And I'm just looking for the bag of minifigures, which are, is really at the bottom here. So I had to go like on a treasure hunt all the way down to the bottom to, to grab these minifigures. This is sometimes why I don't like to do videos, you know, of unboxings, because it can just kind of get messy and I kind of just, I like to do my own thing when I'm doing it. Anyways, here we go. But I, get, I know you guys like to watch unboxing. So it's a Krennic shuttle in here. That's what that is, as you guys can tell by that little black thing. And these two wings, which are right down here. I, I think you guys can take my word on that. I'm not going to lie about that. Um, and then this is a sealed set here. It's going to take a little while to get all this bubble wrap off of it. And maybe we'll do that at the end, but I don't really feel like doing it right now. I'll just tell you guys that's the Utapal sealed set right there. So maybe I'll do it at the end of the live stream if, you know, we have some time. It, it, it's windy outside, so my doors is going back and forth. So sorry about that. No, no one's trying to break into my door or anything if you guys can hear the background noise. This is mainly what I wanted to get to. So this cost me, I think, $100 for the sealed set, Krennic shuttle. Goodness gracious, let me just prop this door open. This is really getting annoying at this point. All right, there we go. That, it won't be a problem anymore. So anyways, so $100. And so we got the sealed set right there, which is about 40. Crank shuttle, which is about 30. And then all this stuff here. The main reason why I got this is because these two figures right here, about $20 each. And I've been getting very high demands for them. So I figured, you know, I haven't had these two mini figures in an auction in a long, long time. So... I figure they'll probably go pretty bananas, so that's the reason why I got this haul. Then you have other things like a Clone Gunner, 500 First Pilot, Django Fett here, but there's a twist to this Django Fett. He comes with, like, he's loaded. He comes with a uh, Aerial Lighter CAC Jetpack. He comes with a CAC Helmet and CAC Antenna and some Django Fett Blasters. You have, like, Darth Vader here, the one from Transformation. You have... OG phase one so lots of good stuff in this package here and let me just do a quick overview so you can see arc trooper mace windu anakin battle damage commander Gree, ahsoka arc troopers whole bunch of rebel fleet troopers mandalorians so you guys can get the gist of you know what came in there let's go ahead and take a look we have two more packages so we have the big boy package which i'm open up next and then we'll open up the I guess custom minifigures at the very end. So I'm not gonna line up all the minifigures here, otherwise this live stream would be about two hours long. We kinda kinda oh, to be quite honest with you, I kinda just wanna do that myself without an audience. So um, here we go. I'm gonna open up this big one. I'm gonna do it off camera here because it's too much to do. Um Alright, so this will deceive you a bit. And rightfully so let me get this package open you know this is this suspense is killing you i'm sure because once you see this set trust me you're gonna poop your pants so you know go to the toilet right now you know pull down your pants because you might poop yourself when you see what set is in here if i can get this freaking 
I don't know what I don't know what he did to this package, man. But it's I don't even have scissors around here, so I'm gonna have to use my bare hands. I'm gonna have to Hulk smash it real quick here. So give me a second. All right, let me see. It's just stuck. Goodness gracious, dude! How did you pack this? And here we go. All right. So, anyways, this is the set in question, but it, it this is deceives you. It's not just this set. So, um, it's um. Malavins, I think that's how you say it or pronounce it, but it's not just this set. It's actually a whole bunch of sets also in there. The Malavins is in there 100% complete with minifigures, but there's also a whole bunch of other sets in here. So let me let me go ahead and now open the box of the set here. And it is it's actually quite heavy to be quite honest with you because you'll see what what sets are in here. So the Malavins here, I'm gonna start pouring out everything. I swear to God, if these bags are not sealed, I'm gonna. I'm gonna lose it. Okay, so Sajai Tin Shuttle is a set. And then another set in here is Jabba's Palace. So, Jabba's Palace. And then there's also another one in here. Give me a second, I forgot what other set's in here. Some nice set. Oh yeah, the Tide Vance, so the Inquisitor's Tide Vance, I think, or was it Vader's? I don't remember who it was. And then here, oh, also this set as well. This, this junk set. I'm going to give this away to charity because, you know, who gives a damn about this set? It's the Resistance set right there with Finn and Rose and that god-awful subplot in The Last Jedi. So, yep, that was all the sets in there. So it wasn't just the Malavance. It actually was Ty Advanced, Resistance Fighter, Sajai Tins, Jabba's Palace, and then also the Malavance. I'm not sure where the figures are in here. I'm not seeing them, so... We might have a might have an issue with that right there. We, we may be throwing hands, but um, I'll figure all that out afterwards. And you can already see this like I don't know freaking World War Three happened in here. And we're still not even done. Like I have like you know different pairs of shoes since I'm still in my boot right now. Hopefully I get off you know Wednesday, and then I have like another pair of shoes. It's, it's a disaster. Anyways, let's open the last one. I'm gonna then I'm gonna clean this room up here. So this is a whole bunch of customs in here. There's probably like I ordered a whole bunch of customs. So. I already have a whole bunch of Clone Recovery Cups. I have 25 more on the way um, as well. I have probably like 50 more. I just ordered 25 today. So anyways, let's just go ahead and take a look and see what customs are in here. So there's a whole bunch of them, to be quite honest with you. So let's go ahead and take a look. So we have bo CAC. We have Gregor CAC. We have Shadow Wolfpack CAC. We have 500 First. We have Fox here as well. We have, I think that's gonna be Sinker. We also have Boost. I mean, I don't, I don't get those two confused. I know I have the full CAC right there, the whole entire squadron, but uh, I might've got those ones. Well, I think one of those was Comet. That's actually Comet right there. And then I think that one is Boost, but I may be mistaken. And then here's just a regular Wolf Pack Trooper here. Then you also have uh, Alpha, so he's pretty cool. And then I have Commander Bly. Uh, this guy's hella dope, actually. He's a um, Shadow CAC driver. You have Commando Sev right here. You have uh, another ATRT driver, but this is actually from Munilus 10. If you have seen the Clone Wars 2003-2004 version, he's a one of the really cool clones in there. And then finally, just a normal Shadow clone right there. So a whole bunch of goodies, including Bo-Katan and all that stuff. So what time is it right now? It is currently 4.44, so um, I have class 630 so i'm gonna go ahead and spend this next amount of time to set up all these figures as you guys can tell i have my work cut out for me you got to clean all this stuff up and then we got to set up this stuff because i'm telling you man it's, it's getting crazy for this auction so all these figures i just got here are going to fill more of this base plate and i have a whole bunch more packages coming in i'll live stream every single one i get in this week so i'm still waiting on 10 or more packages including ones that uh, i think three of them are 10 pounds each of just minifigures and sets so that's pretty cool anyways guys that's going to be it for today thank you if you watch the live stream live um, that's pretty cool and if you're watching later on in the future uh, thanks again for doing that and i guess this will be two uploads in one day that uh i go from not uploading in two weeks to uploading twice in one day anyways have a good day and peace out get ready for june 22nd july 6th it's gonna be the craziest lego auctions of all time uh, this is Timmy signing out, but peace.